So from here, we can come into the double diamond. We have to sink the hips down a little bit, right? Or the swing will lose its position. So this is the hanging out of the beach pose. <sighs> nice and easy. And for those that want to come into the flying monkey, we're going to reach forward, touch the front of our shins, then slide our hands up as high as you can. You have to kind of wiggle up. When it's expanded, it's a little bit more challenging, right? Push the feet together, press the hips up towards the sky, and lean back. Still the same amazing stretch on the neck and shoulders. Feels so good. Okay, from here we're gonna do some bicep curls. Inhale, pull yourself up, sitting on your feet. You gotta reach up high, feet together, don't lose the anchor. Feet together, feet together, and then lean back. Keep your hips up the whole time, just lean back with the upper body. Inhaling up, pull up, bicep curl, nice and strong. I know, it's like challenging. Exhale back. Inhale up, pull yourself up. All right, here we go. So stay up. We're going to expand. Oops. Yep. <laughs> All right. And then lower down. I know that one was hard. Okay, that's as hard as it's going to get. All right, wing shoulder right now. For those that want the dynamic strength, do flips and tricks. That's how we get the upper body ready. Really good, guys. All right, from here we're all going to expand. For those that haven't had a little bit of a break. Now, this is a little bit of a trick. What we're going to do is find the front end of the swing, lift the hips slightly, and stretch it out. Wiggle it up. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that feels better, right? <laughs> go ahead and get your arms in there. So make sure it's at least under your bum. So you can pick your butt up and wiggle. It's okay to wiggle in this one. <laughs> Come on in. Even though it's a little bit of a sauna in here, let's just <laughs> enjoy the end. It's like a, it's your favorite sweatshirt in the middle of the summer. <laughs> so yeah, you just go with it. If you get a little air sick from all the swagger, slow it down. It's, that's normal. Feel free to have a bathroom break or go ahead and have a sip of water if you need to take care of yourself. All that is welcome here. <sighs> really nice, guys. All right, so from here, we're not coming into final relaxation yet. <laughs> but I am going to show you how you can get into a really nice supported inversion. So we're going to actually, we'll, we'll, we're, going to, we're going to meet you where you are, Julia, so you can stay there, you're doing good. We're going to squeeze the legs together. If you want, you want to expand them to your feet, go ahead and stretch those out. Mm -hmm. Really good. Everybody doing good? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we bring our arms out. So we're going to hold on to the back edge. So reach up towards the sky and then grab the swing right above. So get your arms out for me, Amy, okay? Arms out, blossom. Mm -hmm. There you go, good. So we hold on to that outer edge there. Then we're going to push up towards the sky with our hips. Lean back. Now as you lean back, your hands will slide down slightly and then the swing will gather at your waist. It's going to feel like you're going to plummet, so don't let go. <laughs> hold on. We're in our supported inversion. And then from here, we're going to do a couple sit-ups. So we're going to do a bicep curl and sit up at the same time. So look towards your toes. And then go ahead and exhale lower back. Nice and slow. The slower you go, the better. Inhale, go ahead and look up towards your toes. Exhale, go ahead and lower back. Really good, guys. Inhaling up. So you get to decide how much arm you use or how much core you use, right? But don't use your head. <laughs> Leave the neck alone. Inhaling up. Look towards your toes. Exhaling down. Really good, guys. Okay, inhale, come up to sit. Okay, for you guys that feel like that was enough of an inversion, I want you to stay here. For anybody but that wants to take it further, I'm going to show you how you can go fully upside down. So first thing you notice is that my hands are forward towards my feet, okay? So then I can grab the front end and shut the swing. So watch me first. I'm gonna have all my trainees assist each one of you guys since we have so, much, so many of you. I'm gonna open up my legs wide because I need the swing to come around. I'm gonna lean back and then I'm gonna wrap my feet in front, okay? So let me do it one more time with you. So every one of my trainees, pick a, pick a buddy. Everybody get a buddy. Okay? All my wigglers. Amy, I want you to come up here. Heather, come up here. Okay. Everybody got a buddy? So, Julia, you can just do it if you like. Would you like to do it? Oh, okay. Whatever you want. Okay, good. 
So everyone grabbing the front end. First, we make sure we're doing it right. Everyone bringing their legs out wide. Yes. Okay. We can keep we can keep the swing under our bum for this one. Oh, yeah. It's okay. We're gonna lean back and my hands are gonna slide down. My legs are gonna come wide. I'm gonna bend and hook my feet in front. Lean back. Don't wrestle. Lean back. Yes. Bring the legs around and hook them in front. Really good. She went the wrong way. Come on up. Wide. Wide. Go around wide. Don't worry about this. You're not going to use them. Wide. And lean back. Lean back. Wrap them around. Lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Yes. Thank you. So notice that just outside in. For those that are in teacher training. Hello? Hello? <laughs> For those that are in the teacher training, it was wrapping the legs wide and around. Did you guys see that if you go like this, which some people will do, we are not hooked, which means we will fall out. <laughs> yes. We're not careful. So outside in with each person, so that was really good. We don't lean back. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, it was really helpful, honestly. And all of a sudden, we're in an inversion. Doesn't that feel amazing, guys? Now, the swing is really spread out. I hardly ever do inversions like this, but it's really nice from a seated position, from the cocoon, to get upside down. And now we're going to come out nice and slow, and this is how you're going to help your person. You're going to reach up and grab to the swing between your legs. Okay? Open up your legs wide, and then come to seat. Open up your legs wide. Both from up. Both from up at the same time, and then come to seat down. Isn't that nice? It's so nice to be in a seated position after doing an inversion because you can get your head in now. You can get your head in. Good. Yeah. So go ahead and relax. So we want to take the maximum amount of time to absorb the benefits from our headstand. Really nice, guys. It's also good to see what most people will do because you guys are like a, a nice, perfect slice of the human experience yeah. that most people will have a little bit of trouble keeping their legs around or a little bit of trouble coming up. So thank you for allowing us to experiment on you. <laughs> Let me flip you around upside down. How did that feel? Does anybody have any feedback for me? Great. So good, right? Yeah. <laughs> so good. That's the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it gets easier with time. The first couple flips we do or inversions we do, it's like, oh, especially is the swing going to hold me? Am I going to fall out? Where am I? Where's my legs? You know, that kind of thing. You guys did really great. You guys are willing to try it one more time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go in the same direction as you so I can see you when you're upside down. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm walking forward. Everyone stay where you are or not. Okay. You're already blossoming. Okay. Leg loops on. Now, the leg loops are just there. They're not being used, really. They're just there to support us when we come back out. So we land in our floating Buddha. Okay. This is going to be as adventurous as we get for today, but this is really fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to reach up towards the sky, get our arms out, so the swing is underneath the armpits. Okay. I'm holding on to the swing. So when I hold on, I'm sliding down. And when I slide down, I bring weight into my head. And then I'm going to let it gather at my waist. Awesome. Good. So what is this called? Squeeze the legs together. Too fast. Come on back. Too fast. Ladle. Squeeze the legs together. What is this called? Ladle. 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 Do not spill the gravy. <laughs> legs together. Legs together. Thank you. All right, pull yourself back up. Sit up. Now we switch. This is important. Sit up. We switch. We have to grab the front end. So we reach towards our knees. Grab the swing. And then we have to gather it. So to gather it, we bring our legs wide. When we bring our legs wide, then we can lean back and then wrap them around. Yes, really good, Linda. Keep going. Yes. Good transition, everybody. So now the swing is covering like a whole big surface area, and it's okay. If it feels good. You can also bring it up a little bit if it feels a little bunchy, but everybody's looking good. And you can bring your hands down, maybe. Take your time, no rush. <laughs> Go ahead and clasp your hands behind your back and stretch. That's perfect. 
Thanks, guys. Does everybody feel okay? Yeah, good transitions. <laughs> mm hmm <laughs> Really great, guys. Awesome. So this is an advanced pose. This is not a beginner pose. So I'm impressed with everybody's ability to come in and out. So okay, here we go. We reach up and grab for the swing between our legs. Go ahead and do a little bit of setup for your legs wide, both of them at the same time if you can, and then come to seat. Sitting down. All right, go ahead and get in. Really good job. So only 30 seconds of being upside down is enough. <sighs> come into your gentle windshield wipers. It's just misting out. No need to go full blast. Let them rock a little bit from side to side. Hmm. So good. You might feel a little woozy. Your body is massively detoxifying quickly. That happens in these practices. It's good to drink extra, extra water. If you ever feel like you need to take a little break, it's totally okay. nice. So we're going to come and rest in our chillaxing pose and do a little bit more leg stretches. We're going to transition the same way we did before, nice and easy. So swing is gathered behind our back. Leg loops are on. I'm just coming to meet you where you are. Okay. So we're going to come to sit, so we're going to gather the legs, uh, gather the swing underneath our arms, hold on to the front edge, so reach towards your knees, and then slide your hands up, and that's the front edge. Thank you. Good. So the first thing we want to do is get the leg loops at our knees, so go ahead and do that first. You can keep your arms on the outside to do that. Okay? Nice. Good job, guys. Okay. So we're going to pull ourselves up, right? So at the knees, it's a little bit easier. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, you're doing great. And then we let the swing slide out. We want. So most of the weight is being held by our knees. Really good. I know. Maybe. Maybe. And then if you want, you land in chillaxin pose. Really good, guys. So in chillaxin, this is where the name chillaxin arms comes from, right? So we're going to go ahead and let ourselves sway from side to side. I didn't give an explicit instructions, you guys were doing such a good job. I push one knee down, and then the other knee down, and that's how I get into my swagger. Yeah, see if you can drop the hips. Drop the hips and open the heart. We're initiating our back bends from the upper thoracic spine, that place where we, where we normally like curve in and round in. We're pushing our back into the swing and letting our heart rise to the sky from there. That's beautiful, and there, good job. Can you feel the difference even after two days and how the body's getting it? These micro movements, it's really beautiful. Nice job, guys. Does everybody feel like the leg loops are in a good position for them? So, um, I like where it's Deborah, will you do me a favor and bring Julia's leg loops down one? Okay. That just brings down to the very end of the knees, James. I just think you'll be more comfortable with them a little bit lower. Everybody else is looking pretty good back there. <laughs> okay, we're in our chillaxin pose. Good. Thanks. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you can actually just lift the leg. You don't even have to take it out. Bring it down, but that's okay. Come on back in. Remember to keep your arms wrapped around. Nice, Julia. See if that feels a little bit better. So it's easier when they're lower. If anybody wants to take it easy, just bring your leg loops down. If you want it a little harder, bring them up. Awesome. Okay, good. So we want to keep that hook in the upper body, right? If it gets to be too much, you can do like a gentle lift. But see how like swimming through water, ease and grace, whatever we do, like this whole thing, it actually affects the air. You know what I mean? Like the, the, we get this like big wave disturbance and we just want to be easy about it. See if we can get into like um, a real smooth, <laughs> graceful relationship with this thing. It's like a new best friend, right? Because you can get into a little tip about something, but then you get back into like the love level. We love 